This morning we're going to discuss how to use and the problems with is numeric. And I'm going to introduce both at the same time because there's nothing more heartbreaking than finding out that it's not quite as effective as you think it is. It's, it's kind of like kids learning about Santa Claus and then waiting 10 years to find out, oh, Santa Claus doesn't exist. So I'm going to break your hearts while I introduce it. So that way I save, save some time. So we have a table here. And you'll notice we have character values and numeric values. So the first step is how to use is numeric. How we're going to use is numeric is this is the function right here, is numeric. We're going to pass in the, the column name, which, <coughs> excuse me, in this case is test values. And if we want it to be a number, if we want it to return a number, we're going to say equals one. If we want it to return an alphabetic character, we're going to say zero. So let's do zero first, and you'll see it returns an alphabetic character, and one, it returns a numeric value. Now, you'll notice in this example, there's a D in this value right here, number four, and there's an E in the second value. And that's the problem with is numeric is numeric does not necessarily only return numbers. It can actually return numbers with characters. This, um, the reason is because in scientific notation, um, there's, you can often see that they'll use an E depending on how they write it out. So technically that could theoretically be a number. Um, but when we're cleaning data, that would be considered more unreliable. So, the reason why I say that is because it's actually better to use regex. Now, I'm going to look over the, the videos that I've shot so far, um, but if I haven't covered regex, that's going to be upcoming. Regex, I like to say, is you can, you can tell a senior level developer from a, a junior or mid-level developer, because a junior or mid-level developer will mention is numeric or will use is numeric as if it's reliable when it's really not reliable. It's, it's, uh, I don't know if you all have ever seen The Princess Bride, but there's a quote there that's like, you keep on using that word. That word, I don't think that word means what you think it means. That's what I like to think about uh, mid-level and junior level developers always using as numeric. It's like, I don't think that function returns what you think it returns. It, it can actually have all kinds of errors. So it's not really that reliable, and there's all these hacks around it. And my thing is, you're better off learning regex because the, the time that you learn regex and the turnaround there now you have something way more reliable that you can use instead of something like is numeric and trying to hack around the function and check and make sure it's returning the right thing. So uh, that's that's how to use it. The syntax again, you're going to pass in the column um, is numeric, then the column name, and then one means number, and then zero means alphabetic characters.